We're going on an adventure. I don't know where. We're just going. I have the kids in here, not taking their crates. I have our food and our porta potty, our cook stove, little table, my bed, and uh, some treats for them, and water. And we're just gonna take off and drive around and I don't know where we're going. It won't be too far because I have only, um, let's see, how much do I have left on my gas tank? 237 miles to empty, so I think I don't want to drive more than 150 miles total. So we'll let you know where we are after we post the video. Well, I'll tell you where we are because by the time you see it, we'll be back home again. So. Anyway, off we go. How did that happen? It's recording again. <laughs> the kids are really excited. Emmy, you get down. Okay. I don't know how that happened. Hi, buddy. They're all excited. I had a heck of a time getting them out of the house into the van because they were so excited I could hardly hold all of them. Okay, now we're off on our adventure and we'll be back with you soon. I just want to show you all something. This is how my mailman delivers packages from Amazon. Mm -hmm. Because he's too lazy to bring it to my house, so he shoves it in my tiny little mailbox and he doesn't care what's in here. This is the worst mailman we've ever had. Okay, enough about all that. Anyway, I think we're gonna drive and head east and maybe go drive up one of the mountains and check out Blue Knob State Park because I have never been there. So I think maybe we're going to drive over there and see what it's like. The kiddos, they want to get out and go for a little walk. And it'll be really nice. So um, I'll show you a little bit of uh, scenery once we get up close. Okay, well, we have about 12 miles to go to get to the state park. And... Uh, you know, I've come by this place a million times in my life, but I've never went in there. So we're going to go in and check it out, see if there is to see, and maybe walk around on some trails or something. And I'm sure they have picnic tables, and then we can get our dinner ready later. And uh, then we'll figure out what we're going to do after that. We're going to spend the night in the van somewhere, but I don't know where yet, but uh, that's what the plans are anyway. So that should be quite an adventure. This will be our first time trying to sleep in the van overnight with no tent, no nothing, just hanging out in the van. You know, our first camping adventure ever with the tent if you saw my other videos, that one didn't uh, turn out as well as I'd hoped and we came home early without spending the night. So let's hope this attempt goes much better because I would really like to be able to do this just in the van with no tent for those times when we're traveling and we just have to do a quick stop somewhere for an overnight. So, cross your fingers, we'll see what happens. Okay, we're climbing the mountain, and somebody back there, one of the kiddos, must have got an upset tummy, because I heard somebody vomit. And I, there's no place here for me to pull over. But they all seem to be okay from what I can see in the mirror. When we get up here, I'll stop and pull over and make sure everything's alright, but I think 
think so. Okay. It's not uncommon for that to happen. It's usually Hunter that does it. He doesn't do it all the time, just sometimes. So I think he just gets a little bit, you know, from the movement, his tummy gets upset a little bit, I think, but uh, I think he'd be okay. He seems to be fine. He's sitting right behind me trying to give me kisses on the back of my head. So, all right, we'll be back in a few minutes. This is um, pretty nice scenery up through here. There's a nice lake right up here off on the left. But I don't know if it has any picnic tables or anything like that available. I've never stopped to check that out. So I think we'll just continue on here with our plan to go over to the state park. Because we're not that far away from it now, about six miles, I think, something like that. So, I'll be back with you when we get over there to the, um, to the state park. I'd give you just another little glimpse of the scenery uh, now that we're headed down the mountain and then the first mountain anyway. Pretty nice up through here. There's a farm off to the right down in this valley and uh, I've never been down in there but from what I can see from the road here it's just so pretty down in there. I don't think the GoPro is picking all that up, but uh, it must be over a hundred years old, but they have a lot of stone work along the drive on the way in there. And uh, it kind of sits right down in the hollow. It's really, I'd really like to go down in there and see what it looks like, but it is a private residence, somebody's farm, so I don't think they want strangers just traipsing through their driveway. But uh, from what I can see up here, it looks really pretty. Okay, now we'll be back when we get to the park. So we're on the road that goes into the park. In fact, we just entered right back a little ways. And um, so I'm just gonna drive around and just check out what's up here and find a nice place for me and the kiddos to hang out for a little bit. Well, they have a swimming pool here. Of course, it's not open yet, but uh, Oh, nice. This seems really nice. I wonder what's up here. Let's see what's in there. Let's go down in here and see what's in here. Looks like some... Ooh, Make was... a U-turn, then turn right onto Forest Road. Let me mute my GPS thingy. Uh, see what's down in here and then we can uh, get out and go potty because I know the kids have to go then we'll get out and take a pee what we'll do. We're going to get out and go potty. They're like really anxious to uh, check out all this water here. 
so we might just wander down here slowly hopefully slowly <laughs> believe it or not these guys are exceedingly strong <laughs> and I'm having a hard time holding on to them no guys wait wait no they want to go in the water but I don't want them to go in the water so that's oh boy come on guys come on back here no don't go over there all right let's go back up this way good kids you're very good kids most of the time I think they're happy. Come on, guys. Here. I gotta get them untangled. So it's really nice here. They have some toilets, a little bathhouse back there. Well, just toilets. And um, it was clean, so that was nice. The kiddos are in the van right now. And I think I'm gonna wander down here and just wander around a little bit. See, they're right there. Watching every mo move that mommy makes. They don't want to let me out of their sight. <laughs> so we'll be back in a second. So pretty here. I think I might go up farther. There's another pull off where they have some campsites. And I'm gonna go up there and check that out too when I'm done here. Sure would be nice if I could camp out right next to this stream because it's so calming listening to that water. I really love that. And then this trail, I was talking to a young fellow that came up and he said the trail here, it winds all the way up and it goes, he said, clear up to the top of the mountain up there and then back around. And I thought, oh, that's cool. There goes some kids on some bikes. Anyway, I thought to myself, I would like to walk on that trail. And I think... The kids would like to walk on that trail. However, I'm just not too sure about coming back down. Because as you saw down here by the water a few minutes ago, they uh, get overexcited and they want to pull me. Okay, so they're happy I'm back. The kids on the bikes came down and... Uh, they had to say hello to them. I think they're having kind of fun today. Emmy said she's kind of having fun, but her leash ain't, leash ain't long enough, right, honey? Yeah. And Hunter Puppy, he said he wants to go play on those trails. Yeah, Mom. What do you guys say we drive up to the top of the hill? and go see if we can find a trail that we can walk on that's flat. Okay, because I don't want you to drag me down a hill. All right, let's go. We'll be back in a minute. So I'm not sure how far it is up here to the top where the campsites are. Another guy told me to come up here and it was flatter with some camping and trails that were more level and not so steep. 
so I don't know how much farther up this road it is to the top though so we're going to find out and now well, I guess my battery's going to die I hate this GoPro battery <laughs> Anyway, if it dies, I'll put a new one in when I get to the top and start from there. I think we're getting close to the to the top right now, though. Kind of looks like it. So we'll see. Hmm. The kids are doing really good. With the exception of being overly excited and trying to drag mom down through the trail. But they'll get over that. They just, uh, their initial excitement just gets the best of them. I guess there goes my battery. You want to go for a walk, Indy? Hmm? We're going to go over here and see what's over here. Lots to look at around here. What do you think? Hmm? Come on. Let's go. Emmy, why do you have to get all tangled up all the time? Holy crap. Hold on, Indy. Wait a minute, buddy. Wait. All right, let's walk over here and see what's over here. Come on. Come on, guys. Emmy, try not to get tangled. Oh, my Lord. This dog... She is the most tangled prone. When I walk Indian Hunter, they walk perfectly. But no, not Emmy. She has to get everybody, including herself, all tangled. Come on, guys. I can't believe this. And I don't dare let them go up here because then... I can't get them back. God. Okay. Now, hopefully, this will work. Slow down, guys. Hold on. Hold up. Oh, Lord. They're dragging me. No. And I don't want them to get... Oh, no. Get out of there. Oh, my God. No, leave it. I'm not real sure what this is. But I want to come over here and read this and see what it says. They're all excited to get over here. know if I've mentioned it before in any of my videos, but I am just terrified of snakes. I mean, literally terrified to the point I don't go for a walk without my gun because I'm just scared to death of them. And I don't want these kids getting bit. And I plan on getting them snake avoidance training. But I haven't yet been able to do that. And I'm so terrified because here in Pennsylvania, we do have rattlesnakes and copperheads. So that's why I'm a little bit freaked out trying to keep them close to me. Anyway, this says we're at Chapel's View at Blue Knob State Park. Uh, we're standing at 2,000. 480 feet above sea level and, at, and that's 600 feet below the summit which is Pennsylvania's second highest peak 
It says on a clear day, you can see mountain ridges 45 miles away. And if you look out here, way out there, that's what it's talking about. What a view from here. This is just beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, come on guys. Let's uh, see if we can go walk in some grass, okay? Oh, I know I have to get over my fear of snakes because it really keeps us from doing a lot of things. And I have been trying. I've joined snakes groups on Facebook so I could learn about different snakes. I've learned to identify a whole lot of them. Um, it just still hasn't taken my fear away. And the fear is not so much for me, it's for them. Um, so I guess if I have one phobia, <laughs> that's it. I mean, I don't really like high places, but I could get over that. It's this uh, other thing with the snakes that just drives me crazy. You know, some people are afraid of spiders. Some are afraid of other things. Mine is snakes. Look how beautiful this is here. This is just a big, beautiful open area up here. This open field. And it's so pretty. And uh, I really wish that I could just let them off leash and play, but I, I don't want to do that. I have to be on a leash here in the state park anyway, I believe, but one of these days we'll find us a, an area that's fenced in where we can let them run and play. I mean, we have our home, our yard at home, but while we're out having fun and exploring different places, you know, we're going to want to find places where we can run and play off leash. I think we're going to go find us a place where we can sit and have our picnic and have our lunch. Maybe we'll have our lunch right here because it's a nice peaceful place and I really don't have to cook right now. Everything I have is edible without cooking that I brought with us for today. All right, we'll be back with you in a little while. Well, we're really enjoying this and look, Indy is too. He's so happy back there. As soon as I came back to the van and opened up the back hatch, he jumped right up there on his cot. Or he thinks it's his cot anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to get our dinner ready. And uh, we'll be back with you. The other two, they're right here beside me in the side door. They're just kind of peacefully waiting too. So I think I'll get all of our dinners ready. And then we'll come back and chat. Indy's patiently waiting while I'm getting our dinner ready. One for Emmy. The kids are having beef neck bones today. Here, buddy. Here's one for Hunter. And Emmy, get down. You got yours. Let mommy get into his. I gotta get Indy's out of the bag. Yeah. Here, Indy. Here, buddy. You want your bone? There. There's your bone. He's so easy going. He kind of like, put it here, Mom. I'll get to it in a minute. He's such a good boy. So I will do that. And now I have to... Oh, you know what I forgot? <laughs> I forgot to uh, 
need my hand sanitizer is what I need. I got to walk around to the other side to get it. Hey, buddy. Is that a good bone? Look. That's a nice bone. Here, you eat that. I grilled up before I left the house. Yeah, I know that's cheap, but that's what I got. Hunter and Emmy are happy eating their bones out here. Very happy kids. And I got a couple burger patties that I grilled up before I left the house. Yeah, I know that's cheating, but that's what I got. Okay, so now I'm gonna sit here right next to my little buddy and I'm gonna have my burger patties while we looked out the window and watch what's going on outside. Yeah, this is kind of fun. I think I might actually get to like this for a few months during the winter. Hmm. It's really good. Just plain burger patties. Blackberry bubbly. Hmm. Nice out here. It's about uh, 68 degrees. Sunny. Finally, thankfully, yay. That makes me happy because I don't like. Uh, dark and gloomy but anyway so I have no idea where we're gonna spend the night tonight but it will be somewhere the kids are doing pretty good so far we'll see how the rest of the day goes so it's getting a little windy up here now oh there's a lot of bugs up here I didn't think there would be as many bugs out yet, you know, because the, the, the nighttime is still cold, but there are quite a few bugs. I can see them all flying around, but we brought our bug spray, all natural. I use cedar side and that works for me and the kiddos and it comes in different flavors, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. So... <laughs> Anyway, we were ready for the buggers. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating my dinner. And then we're gonna see what we're gonna do with the rest of the day. Look who came to see me. Yeah, little miss, I ate my bone already and now I want a bite of your burger. Right? Boop. Can I have a boop? A little boop? She wants my burger. Nope. Mm -mm. You don't want that. You know what that is? That's the poop bags. We gotta carry them around with us when we're not home so mommy can pick up your poo. Yep. 
this little girl, she chomps those bones. She eats them faster than the other two. And then she comes and wants another one. And of course, I do have another one for them. But I'm going to make her wait. Right? I'm going to make you wait until the boys catch up. Because if not, she'll wolf down her other bone and then sit here looking like she needs another one. And she doesn't need another one, do you, baby? Nope. Ooh, I'm getting bit by something. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know. They're like little, little gnats. Except they're bigger than gnats. I don't know what they are. Anyway, it's okay. Now she's going to sit there and wait for her bone. Okay, so we just had our dinner. And uh, while the other two are over there still munching on their bones, Hunter and I are going to walk just around the grassy area up here. And then I'll take each one of them for a little walk by themselves so they can uh, go potty if they need to. And it's much easier walking one at a time than with all three. Some days it's not too bad, but today they're just so excited. It's kind of tough keeping them all in a line and in, in a group where I want them to stay. You know, you, boy, there sure are a lot of bugs up here. I think I mentioned that, but a lot of gnats. I didn't think there'd be so many. Hi, buddy. He is such a good boy. So peaceful up here. Just so peaceful and beautiful. And now we are the only ones here in this little area. It's a field area for hiking and parking and things like that can't camp here but uh, it's okay it's really beautiful so peaceful you can hear the birds singing I love it here okay so we're uh, we're leaving the state park now and I think we're gonna head east and figure out where we're going to camp out for the night. I'm thinking about a Cracker Barrel, maybe. But I don't know yet. We'll see when we get there. So, uh, we're just going to drive around a little bit. And, um, because it's only 5.30. So it's really not time to go to bed yet. We're having fun. Alright, I'll be back with you in a little while. I think the kids are all tuckered out because we went walking and walked all over the place. And it was kind of cool. So I think they're all wore out. They're back there just kind of chilled. Hunter and Indy are on my cot and Emmy girl, she's just sort of laying there. That's it. Just laying around. They're so cute. They're having such a good time today. Look at that view. I don't know if GoPro's capturing that straight out ahead, a little bit to the left of your view right now. But what a view. And he just left another stinky. He's been a real park egg today. He leaves the worst farts. You know how like you see those cartoons when somebody leaves a fart and there's like a big green cloud of smoke over there behind them? Yep. That's Mr. Farty Boy back there. <laughs> but I love him. I couldn't love him more if I tried. He's so cute. We got 
gotta have a little fun. We gotta have a little fun. There's lots of really cute little cabins up down through here. It's very scenic. up here in the winter. I'm just not that brave anymore. <laughs> I'm turning into Chicken Little the older I get, but I guess that's okay. I haven't really driven very far. I only have 31 miles so far since we left home this morning, so this isn't really costing me hardly anything today. That's a good thing. Little fun. This is so 
beautiful. Even when we get crabby on those rainy days, we are still so blessed. It's just so beautiful. So peaceful. I think the kids and I are going to have a really good time this winter when we hit the road and uh, go on our southern road trip for a few months. So we are here at the Cracker Barrel in uh, Altoona, Pennsylvania. As you can see there's a another RV parked back here. I went in and asked the manager and she said, oh yes, you're welcome to park there overnight. That's what the parking spaces are for. I'm like, cool. I said, what about my three dogs? Is that a problem? And she said, nope. Just don't let them poop on my sidewalk. I said, okay, we got a deal. So we're going to camp out here. It seems to be pretty quiet around here. So uh, we're going to hang out. I can't, I'm having trouble get, getting this right because um, I keep wanting to look in the opposite direction. But anyway, okay. So we're going to hang out here for a little bit. I might watch some YouTube videos on my phone, and then we're gonna go to bed. We'll see you in the morning, and I'll let you know how it went. Good night, everyone. <laughs> well, good morning, everybody. Yeah, that came really fast. <sighs> I'm not even awake yet. Anyway, it's like, uh, oh, dark 30. That translates to 4.47 a.m. So, it was an eventful night to say the least. I'm going to have to get a better, wider cot, more padding, something. And little miss emmy she thinks she owns her mama and she wanted to growl and fuss with the boys all night long <laughs> and then about 15 minutes ago they uh started barking and growling at the window i'm like what the heck i look out there ain't nothing out there so i get up here in the driver's seat and uh, I put my window down because the windows got a little bit fogged up in here. And lo and behold, yep, there was this attack bunny sitting out in the parking lot, munching on some of the grass off to the side. Oh yeah, he was a big bunny too. He must have been about eight inches tall. Well, 
<laughs> That's what they was barking at. <laughs> so, anyway, we're up. And, uh, of course, Cracker Barrel's not open yet. They don't open until 7. So... Okay, well, I just realized that when I left home, I forgot to bring my frying pan. So even though I have my little cook, my little camp stove, I can't cook my breakfast because I'm an airhead and I forgot to bring something to cook it in. Guess what? I forgot my little coffee pot, too. That really sucks. That's okay. I mean, there's a convenience store right up the street. I can go get me some coffee. But, my stomach's really growling. Like, it's really hungry. And so, I think we're all going to just go potty and head home so we can... Uh, so mom can get breakfast. Their breakfast is in the cooler and they can eat it just the way it is. But I'm not eating raw meat. <laughs> so anyway, wasn't too bad. It was mostly quiet here in this Cracker Barrel parking lot all night. I just have to get, make some better sleeping arrangements in my van. So... We're going to head on home, and I'm going to say thanks so much for watching this video. And um, I guess I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because that helps my videos be seen even more. And the kids said thanks so much for watching them too. All right. You guys all have a blessed Sunday. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.